As we get into this series, I want to be very clear so I don't overpromise and underdeliver to you what we'll be covering in this Anime Studio series. Animation, especially 2D animation, covers a lot of ground. It plugs into some other disciplines. So I wanted to talk about what we're going to pay attention to in this entire animation process and what we're going to ignore. Of course, the goal is to learn this software, but we really can't learn this software in isolation because it does plug into some other technologies and other requirements of working with 2D animation. So let's go ahead and take a look at this animation process, and I'll tell you very specifically where we will be working and where we won't be working. Of course, obviously, the first thing is your assignment. Maybe you want to embarrass a roommate by doing a caricature of them snoring on the couch and putting it on YouTube. That's fine. Or if you're a professional, you get the assignments handed to you and you work with it. Of course, we don't cover about that, but we have some typical type of real-world assignments if you're in the professional category. Character development, once you get the story, is always a biggie. You can get the exciting to the mundane, in this case, you know, a singing hamburger, yay, how fun is that? But we don't talk a lot about how to do character development, but we do talk about how to use your character development sketches inside of Anime Studio. They've got some very cool tools to really accelerate your realizing or bringing to life your sketches. In this case, these sketches are done with Corel Painter. You can do the same thing with Adobe Photoshop or others. Because in Anime, you can bring in your electronic sketches fast. If you're more comfortable working on paper, you can scan them and bring them in. We'll show you how in the very near future. Of course, after character development comes the storyboard, either handed to you by copywriters or the producer and you work with those, we don't deal with storyboards at all outside of the fact that we talk about ways to use Anime Studio to work quickly with storyboard information. Very important to be able to do that uh, quickly, just a necessity of the business. This is where we cross into some other kind of overlap areas and that is audio production. We don't talk a lot about how to create the audio for animations because usually the audio, or at least the base audio, is completed before animation even begins. That's your dialogue, maybe some of your core sound effects that you animate along to and bring it in. And then it goes out to editing after the rendering and you add sweetening sound effects, additional sound effects, those type of things. However, there is a feature of Anime Studio that we'll talk about. In the context of having audio pre-prepared, we'll assume that there are some audio tracks to work with and we use a very cool little free plugin that exports out into the Anime Studio format, and that's called Papagayo. Man, this plugin will save you hours of creating keyframes or lip syncing your 3D or your animated character into working dialogue. Real joy to work with on this one. Now, after audio production, we come right into our animation area, and that's where we'll take a fairly deep look at all the different tool sets within Anime Studio, but then we will also look at how to apply them differently. Simply learning where the tools are, yeah, big deal. That's not really going to help out a whole lot. So I've got some assignments that we'll work on where you can see how we use the same exact tools, but we wind up with wildly different results using them. That's useful stuff in working with Anime Studio. After we're done with the animation, or slightly in conjunction with it, we look at how this animation is going to be rendered, if it's going to television, if it's going to cinema, or if it's going to the web. They each have their own requirements, and we'll cover some basic considerations of frame rates and color output targets, those type of things, as we get into that section. Of course, finally, there's editing. If you'll notice, most animated features usually only have live screen time of about three to five seconds per animated segment. So in conjunction with the storyboards, we're really only looking at animating some very short periods of time. Those are all assembled in video editing programs. There's some fairly cost-effective or inexpensive ones for the, the hobbyist. And obviously, if you're a pro working with an Avid system or Final Cut Pro or After Effects or the, the Adobe video editing suites, then you've already got all you need to do that. And that's where you would assemble this into your final audio sweetening. So to summarize, we're going to touch a little bit on how to work with character development sketches in this series. We won't be working with storyboards. We will be talking about how to work with pre-existing audio in conjunction with lip syncing or doing some basic motions inside of Anime Studio. Obviously, we'll be talking about animation in all its forms in 2D and 3D since we can do that. We've got the considerations for render output, but we don't touch on the story or the editing areas at all. Additionally, 
As I prepared this series, I've got some files for you to take a look at. We've got some very, you know, cool pre-existing ones you can look at and just simply accelerate your familiarity with the tool and get right into it. So with that, let's go ahead and hop into an overview of the Anime Studio Pro software suite. 